Bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. You Bye. guys were at the P convention this year, right? Pink? The P. Pause. What's P. that? Did somebody say P? All right, so I'm currently working on the iceberg, so I'm not going to be doing too many current events, but this one I wanted to know more about. All right, meet Jalice, the Wicked Witch of the Sack. Her claim to fame is being romantically involved with two rival gang members, one of which who is dead. The gang members' names is Briss and Uzi Marcus, which their beef has been heavily documented online, especially on No Jumper, so I'm not going to dive too much into that today. I'm just going to dive into how the Grand Maison is a fuck nigga. All right, so Academics' apprentice, Poetic Flacco, recently moved to Texas, so he hasn't been on the No Jumper show as much, but they did call him in on a phone call, and he said something that I want to bring up and talk to you guys about. Flacco! What you, Flacco wanted to, to weigh in on the culture vulture conversation, so I'm going to give you a minute here to, to state your piece since you are out of town. Hey, listen, man. First off, man, listen, man. My Nubian queen, Jaleese. Listen, listen, man. Out, bro. First off, yo, how are you doing, Jaleese, man? Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen up, bro. I ain't never seen no jumper look this good, bro. <laughs> these, listen, yo, these ugly pieces of shit, man, finally got some, you know, you know finally, you know, finally, finally, you feel me, got some fire shit, right? But also, kudos. <laughs> Great baby, bro. You know she right, my nigga, bro. You know, bro. Flacco continues to simp over Jalice and just pretty much agrees with everything that she was saying, which I don't care to show you the rest of the clip because I don't want to brainwash my audience with Flacco's simp behavior. But speaking of brainwash and simping, there's something I want to bring up between the relationship of Poetic Flacco and DJ Academics. Now, people have said time and time again, that academics is doppelganger, academics is clone, the person who reminds the most of academics is Flacco. Now, Poetic Flacco has said himself, he's looked up to academics since the very beginning. And if there's ever been any beef with academics, Poetic Flacco has always been the first to stand to Axe defense. Poetic Flacco's even gone as far as taking academics' as mannerisms. That's what some would say, at least. Uh, academics clone? Who? Flacco? Like, as soon as I met him, I thought he was really fucking talented, but, he, like, he literally grew up in your fucking chat. Like, he... Oh, that's what's up. Like, he has, chat like, nigga? his speech patterns and shit are, are weirdly similar to yours. Perfect. And, like, a lot of people, like, have commented and being like, why are you just, like, getting a fake academics? Now, you're probably wondering, Big Chat, we already know this already. Why are you trying to tell us this now? Well, let me tell you guys, DJ Academics, he's always had a thing for ghetto girls. From Angelica and Selena Powell to now Shea Glizzy, Academics has always liked girls that were a little bit more ghetto than most, and it goes beyond his love life history. Here, he talks about his preferences whenever he's looking at corn on corn sites, or pea sites, if you will. Did somebody say pea? I always said, when I go on Pornhub, this is how my search term goes. Shirek thought getting piped out. Mukbang. <laughs> Bitch getting ran by the gang. I really, that's how I search. Thotty getting dicked down. Bitch getting donkey fucked. <laughs> Shorty sucking up the whole team. I search terms like just how we talk. Bitch getting ran. Bitch in the like, trap. Like, like, that's like, how that's, I search. Like, All right, so you're probably still wondering. Chat. Broski, what does this have to do with Poetic Flacco? Well, just hear me out. Just hear me out. You remember whenever Adam was saying to academics that Poetic Flacco grew up in academics' chat nigga chats? What if there's a possibility, I'm not saying this is true, but what if there was a possibility that Poetic Flacco has Celebrity Worship Syndrome, CWS? This involves being obsessed and building an emotional connection with the celebrity and desire a personal relationship with them. It also involves unrealistic expectations and loss of identity. They may become so consumed by their admiration for the celebrity that they lose sight of their own identity and autonomy. And this really made me think, what if, I'm not saying this is true, but what if academics like ghetto bitches? So now Poetic Flacco likes ghetto bitches. What if, we already know academics likes gold diggers. What, I know y'all remember Flacco when he first came to No Jumper, he said he had that girl who he'd be sending money to, he'd be sending her thousands back home. And he ain't even fucked her yet. 
He ain't even fucked her yet. What if? Pay attention to whenever Poetic Flacco gets on the phone, starts flirting with Jaleese. Look at the way that Adam and Lush look at Brick. Look at the way that they look at him. Flacco! <laughs> what you, Flacco wanted to, to weigh in on the culture vulture conversation, so I'm going to give you a minute here to, to state your piece since you are out of town. Hey, listen, man. First off, man, listen, man. My Nubian Queen Jalice. Listen, listen man. Out, bro. My Nubian Queen Jalice. So Flacco calls Jalice, his Nubian Queen, and then look how Adam and Lush look at Brick. And then it seems like Brick gets mad. Listen, man, out, bro. First off, yo, how are you doing, Jalice, man? Listen, how listen, are you listen, doing? listen up, bro. I ain't never seen no jumper look this good, bro. <laughs> these, listen, yo, these ugly pieces of shit, man, finally got some, you know, you know finally, you know, finally, finally, you feel me, got some fire shit, right? But also, kudos. <laughs> I mean, I really don't got much to prove on Sig Sal. You can just see it all in their eyes right here. There might be something going on. I don't know. I'm not saying it's fact. Possible. And I'll say that with a capital P. Did somebody say P? So they go on to talk about how much of a demon Jaleese is. And I mean, if y'all really care that much about everything that she did, like she apparently filmed a video at somewhere where her ex-boyfriend, I think where he died. I don't know. But it was something treacherous like that. If y'all care, girl, look this shit up yourself. I don't really want to get into that. I want to get more into the Grand Maison. Look at this shit right here. I have a question. If you live in SAC, is it expected that you pay additional attention to the ball sack when doing any kind of sex act. Cause you from sack. Wait. You from sack. Say that again. Sack, Romento. <laughs> like if I was from Penisville, New Hampshire. Oh my God. Okay. Like does that cross your mind the first time you like, do a sex act town. on a man? Dick City, sack. Dick City. Don't God. nobody <laughs> suck that sack like you. You can't. That you get your from this, this is not like I'm not trying to like sexualize you or anything. I'm just wondering if that's like a, a thing a culturally. Thing with the girls. <laughs> yeah, like is it just like I'm a sack thing? Because I, I interview all these people from Sacramento and nobody ever talks about like the ball sack side of things. <laughs> I think they respect the ball. Like, I'll respect it. <laughs> okay, I'm like you guys are losing me. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, like, really I, I'm, I'm trying to get in. I'm just, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like people, like members from Sacramento, aren't going to take you too kindly for trying to correlate Sacramento with ball sex. And then you have to also think, he said he wasn't trying to sexualize her, but then he says that he meant this sexually. I don't understand. When you see ball sex, do you think Sacramento? Are we talking sexually? Ball sacks? Yeah, I think so. Yo, imagine like a shirt sexually? that's just like a yeah. nut sack and then it says Ramento. Yeah. That okay. would be funny. That's so I think Adam hilarious. just thought of some new merch. Or even like yeah. the, the, the censored <laughs> version could just be like the money bag emoji. Like, hey, yeah, and it looked like a sack. Uh, I'm not trying to like overtly sexualize you. Okay, so first he wasn't trying to sexualize her, and then next he wasn't trying to overly sexualize her. I mean, I don't know. It's always something with this guy. Never respects his female employees, or at least that's my opinion. All right, so I'm about to just show you the continuing of that clip. Pretty much, Jaleesa, she's she just feels awkward. Like she feels like, oh, okay, hold on. Like, are you guys trying to get? You know, like, because everyone else is just joking about Sacramento. They're joking about the sack. And she's, like, thinking, like, yo, this ain't no fucking game. Like, y'all over here trolling. And she's she has to make a whole excuse because, I mean, I don't know. Just look at this. Just look it's at not this. gay. Why do no. people say that? Balls are pretty gay. Let's be honest. Uh, it's like, <laughs> to a lot of men, you, you don't even bring up balls. balls. If I'm in an uh, EBK oh, studio session and, and I bring sex? that joke up, everyone's going to call me gay. Yeah. No, for sure. But you are gay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Adam, you're gay. You brought like, that up. Now that you say it, it's like, is it something in the back of your head? Because now you said it's like sex, sex. Those are sex. Like, you know I, what? I'm not about to play with no jumper today. <laughs> okay, they uh, they were they were trolling today. You guys, Sacramento, are we are we in here? Are we in the chat? <laughs> if you're from Sacramento, let us know in the chat. Oh, you think in we can diss in your hometown? No, it sounds like a diss. It sounds like a diss. It's okay. It's uh, okay. I, they're trolling. All right. So the rest of that clip is honestly pretty awkward. I don't even want to get into that. But there is one more thing. One more thing that I would want to get into. So 
Grand Maison said he wasn't trying to sexualize or overly sexualize Jalice. But then he says this. Makes sense. Yeah. Just like with F Y B J. What's his name? J Man. Yeah. Man, I was just thinking about it. Not you, because we have a strictly working relationship. But if I fucking knew a girl who was really smoking on deads, I feel like I could bring an additional level of sexual energy to an encounter with her. Not you, again. But <laughs> no, you're if I had a girl that I knew like that, for sure, she could get it harder maybe than any girl ever before. You gonna fuck her like a gangbang? I'm a fucker for all the deads that she smoked. You're playing a dangerous game, Adam. You're playing a dangerous game. And it's really crazy how much you've changed, Adam. How much you've changed. If you guys want to see the transformation of Adam's early days to now, I think you should go watch my No Jumper Iceberg. Episode 1 is out now on my channel. Go check it out. I'd highly appreciate it. Thank you. Boy, it's over. Ain't nothing we can hash out. It's big chat. I'm a certified crash out. Nigga thought it was a game till he got packed out. Shark, don't nobody want your ass. You a blackout girl. Shark, don't nobody want your ass. You a blackout girl. Shark, don't nobody want your ass. You a blackout girl. Shark, don't nobody want your ass. You a blackout girl. Shark, need to hop back in the shop and go fix my car. Damn, you a hoe. Call Smack, he gon' put you back on Figaro. Damn. Call Otika Sharp and Love with the Coco Co. -co. Damn. Is this nigga 34 or a 304? Yo, shit plain burger is too dry, and that's why they always come to me, cause they want all the eggs. Tryna fit it in her mouth like Tetris. And she use both hands, that's the dexterous. Damn. I can turn a 2 to a 4, to a 6, to a 16, nigga, no Adam. 6th Street, love me, no capping. Bitch is Big Chat, I'm the hometown captain. They like Big Chat, you the truth. Your vids real fine, but you a problem in the booth. I guess I should probably listen what they say. In a short talking shit, then I'm about to point and shoot. Like, got some walk, and I got it from.